All right, welcome back for another episode. Um, this week, I'm going to be taking off the heads off the donor engine. Uh, two weeks ago, I dropped off the heads with the like cam setup and the uh, Jim Wolf tech springs and shims. That's all at a machine shop to get um, you know cleaned up, measured, and uh, uh, resurfaced if necessary. Hopefully, I have it back in time. Um, to get the Z back on the road for Road Atlanta in June. Um, to make it as fast as possible while the heads are you know getting cleaned up, I'll be taking the heads off the donor engine, uh, which is just completely stock. So we'll be manning the like a stock bottom end uh, you know to the uh, upgraded cams and heads and all that stuff. It was a heads package I bought through Z1 a few years ago. Uh, they did the initial install, which is, you know, making this my first time doing all this stuff. Um, so I'll be taking the cams off, you know, getting everything into, um, like, little pre-labeled baggies. Um, <laughs> clean up the um, block so that as, when I get the heads back, it can be, you know, everything's clean and ready to go. Get it back together and, um, you know, just uh, iron out all the kinks before Road Atlanta. <sighs> and figures, yeah, our neighbor, like, a month or two ago, they bought a, um, all the materials they need to build their own little chicken coop, and they've got, like, uh, they have, what, seven, eight chickens and a rooster, and yeah, guess what sounds off every morning at, like, 7.30, even earlier than that, and, of course, it has to go off when I'm filming this video. Right, so um, let's get down to it. I'll uh, start the uh, teardown, try and do some type of time lapse, and uh, ignore these dumbass birds. <laughs> So ideally, I could 
Maybe I could just tilt it one side to another. And... It's still not quite ideal. Just let the sea foam make sure you can see that. Letting it soak onto the top of the piston. And then the basic idea is to just scrape away at it the plastic razor to get all the deposits off. Actually, I've spent a bit of time scraping up the pistons that are compressed right now, and it seems like more scrubbing has been done on the pistons that have been submerged in the sea foam. When I dumped it in, it started turning, it like it started dissolving. It must have dissolved the oils in it right away, because I don't think you can really break down carbon. I mean, carbon's a pretty solid material. What I could do is just light this on fire and see what happens. Yeah, that's the general idea, just to stay pace wins the race. Get all this cleaned up and back together, get that on the road. I'm not gonna lie, I miss driving that thing. It's like right beside me. I see it every time I come through the garage because it's right there. And gas is cheap and so I could be cruising around. Now they have to be working from home so I can't I'm not driving anywhere every day. Still, just knowing that I could just go out every once in a while for a cruise just down some back road with the music blaring. Yeah, it's kind of depressing. I really miss driving this thing. Right, so instead of recording us taking off the heads like I had wanted it to, the camera stopped recording 18 minutes into the job there, so that sucks. This a lot. Like we had like a we got the timing cover off with you know just a hitch or two here and there. Uh, my wife and I had a camshaft fight. That was um, an amazing duel. Not caught on camera. It was in front of a camera that apparently had powered off. Uh, yeah, that would have been legit if uh, it had, you know kind of stayed on. And, you know, like it's like lightsabers without light. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Right, um, so I've just uh, raided the, our kitchen supplies. Um, this is just like a green scrubby pad. Got some sea foam that I'm just uh, dribbling onto it uh, every once in a while. I am also completely oblivious to phrasing. But I imagine with this stuff you want the chemical to do the um, to do really do the work. Um, like it seems to be doing a terrific job of just breaking down all the oils and everything in there that's holding the carbon deposits together. Um, so I'm pretty happy with my results so far. Um, I'm not totally sure where to go from here. Like I guess uh, 18 minutes. So it's like. There's going to be like a, a time lapse. I'm not totally sure what I'll do there. I was looking at the 
sound clips you can download from YouTube to use in your music videos that won't get your videos flagged. And I was like, I don't really care for too much of this stuff, so I'm just going to grab my guitar and play something. I'm split between Metallica and Iron Maiden. I guess if you've made it this far into the video, you've already heard what I've selected. So, hey, feel free to tell me if I did a good job or if I was better off just <laughs> using the free stuff. Man, that would hurt if you told me that free crap is uh, better than whatever I want to play. I'm just going to do like some type of Metallica mashup just because I think that would be cool. Um, what else is there to it? So, yeah, I can't wait to get this thing back on the road. Alright, so I'll, uh, you know, I'll get my music made, get my video together, and I'll keep you guys posted. Right, until next time. Later, later everybody.